In this video we will show you how to force redirect uh, an HTTP website to HTTPS and also non-www to www. So, uh, many hosts nowadays uh, they have uh, auto SSL enabled so you don't have to pay for an external SSL or third party SSL. Uh, you simply have to enable it sometimes or uh, if it's enabled you need to just force uh, redirect HTTP to HTTPS. So uh, if you've been looking at how to install auto SSL on your WHM online, you will see some videos telling you that you need to, you know, go into your WHM and uh, check out the feature manager. And as you can see here, we don't have any feature lists. So um, the accounts in our WHM, the cPanel accounts, have auto SSL already enabled. So if we go uh, to one of the accounts, the way to check if you have auto SSL enabled is you scroll down to security and you can click here SSL TLS status and you will see here um, that it's validated. So if it hasn't been validated you would go um, here to um, to SSL TLS and you would enable it here there would be an option for auto SSL however if it's enabled and you have a website like bramptonautoglass.ca so if you go to Brampton Autoglass you can see here um, it's insecure but if you type in HTTPS slash slash www.brampton you can see there's an HTTPS version so the problem is that it's not force redirecting to HTTPS and we will show you how to do that here. So you would do that from cPanel, just go to your home and you would go to file manager and uh, you would go to your public HTML directory or www. Now if you can't locate your .htaccess file here, uh, it's probably hidden. So you would just go to settings here in the top right and click show hidden files and you can see it's available here. Um, if it is still not available, you would click file and you would create a new file. You would call it .htaccess and click create new file. However, because ours already exists, it tells you couldn't create it because it exists. So just right click on it and click edit and click edit. So now in your htaccess file, um, the existing code might vary depending on you know the structure of your website and what you've done here or your developer has done So it's always a good idea to consult your developer But if you want to give it a try yourself, uh, I will show you some of the methods that work best So usually if you have an HD access file, that's you know a fresh install of a website whether it's WordPress or You know you did a static HTML website in Dreamweaver uh, you can simply uh, add the following code to the top of your HD access file and it should do the trick. I will provide this code in the comments below. Now, uh, if we add this code um, to this HD access file, and if we click save, I would suggest you open an incognito window and go to the website. Um, and you can see here it's not redirecting, so that did not work. Now we need to go back and delete this. However, you always want to save the existing HD access file just in case something goes wrong. You can always revert back. So to do that, you would select everything, uh, Command C or Control C on your Windows, and use your text editor and just paste it. So you can always revert back by copying and pasting from there back into here. So as you can see here, there's uh, some existing uh, redirect code, uh, which is um, which needs to be edited. We have some code ready that you can inject into your website uh, for redirection, which is uh, this code here. And make sure all the redirects are done properly, and we will provide that code uh, on the page where the video is hosted. Now, uh, you would uh, remove all this existing code here, which is the redirect code, and you can see the 301 redirects. Uh, so you would just delete that and paste this new code, and then replace uh, the website with your own. And you can see the instances of that website in several occasions here and here. 
now when we click save changes and if we try to reload the site you can see now it's redirecting it's secure and um, you want to test that every variation of the domain redirects the HTTPS colon slash slash www dot domain dot ca so if you go like this without anything it redirects if we go with www it redirects if we just use HTTPS slash slash it redirects and if we use HTTP slash slash domain it redirects you're also going to want to check one of your internal pages to make sure that it's not a site-wide redirect so every page is redirecting to the home page and you can see this is working also so that's how you force redirect your website to always point to https colon slash slash www.domain.ca we hope you found this video useful and if you liked it support us by clicking the like button below Thank you.